The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Payne T and Scott King. The Sailor Munoz and Ray. And it looks like it'll be these two superstars kicking it off here tonight. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. T.O. Ooh-wee. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. What a stomp. Good grief. Tag made. What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Focused attack on the back. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Great agility. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Vicious strike. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title ring to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team 
to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have. Maybe the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. She is on fire. When she gets in attack mode, look out. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. She's looking at it. Oh, what impact. Big opportunity here. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two part... Uh, I think this is the beginning of the side slam. She is just so dominant. We're in pump handle. Pump handle cup. Ah, slam. Impactful. It'll jar your spine. That's what tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Us. Look at this, Byron. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. She wants it. Roundhouse kick. That's all she wrote, fellas. She goes for the cover. One. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. What a strike. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. DDT. In off the tag. Looks like she wants the win early. She's not going away yet. Too soon. Boom, what impact. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Beautiful technique. There's the monkey for really working over the body. That's it. That's what she needed. Yeah. They got it. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. This was another great moment. Man, oh man, look at that. Who could forget this? And here's how she finished this thing. Here are your winners, the Sailor Munoz and Ray. Took on some damage there, but was still able to pick up the win.